Well, still no word from Mark Zuckerberg or Sheryl Sandberg in the Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal, if we're calling it that. This as regulators around the world begin to turn the heat up on the company. The stock continuing to fall down about 1% today, down about 10% this week. It's lost more than $60 billion in market cap just in the last two sessions. Joining us now from Washington, former SEC Commissioner Harvey Pitt, currently CEO and Managing Director at Calorama Partners, and also with us, former White House Political Director and CNBC contributor Sarah Fagan. Welcome to you both. Sarah let me just start with you. What is the appropriate role of regulation here? There are people calling for a new digital agency like the EPA. Is that enough or will customers ultimately can you trust the market to do the right thing and say, you know what, I'm over this website and I'm leaving and that's it? Now, I don't I think Facebook's reach is too great uh, for uh, customers to walk away from it. There's not a, a, an alternative right now for people to communicate with their friends, at least in the way those of us over the age of 25 do it. Um, you know, here's the thing. You've got Republicans and Democrats alike asking very serious questions. And I think that this is not likely to have a happy ending for Facebook. I think you will see years of regulation, years of investigations, questioning about their data practices, their privacy restraints for consumers, and they're likely to face significantly more regulation. And this is not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, Harvey, in terms of what Facebook has and hasn't done wrong here, clearly they say that they weren't hacked and that uh, you know they were duped, as it were. Is that a fair response from them? No, I think it's um, actually a very poor response. Um, uh, the statement um, is accurate but false. Uh, it isn't really a question of whether they were hacked, it's a question of whether their data was used for improper purposes, and that, it seems, clearly occurred. So denying a hacking uh, is just basically trying to deflect the problem in the hopes that it will go away, and this problem is simply too large to go away. Harvey, what was the improper usage, as far as you can tell? Well, the improper usage is that um, this company, uh, uh, Cambridge Analytica, apparently uh, received uh, data on about 50 million Facebook users and attempted to use that in terms of a political campaign. It doesn't really matter what the use was. Um, Facebook had already been sanctioned previously by the FTC. It has had data problems and it apparently knew about this for two years and yet the data was used for improper purposes. Sarah, one of the things that has made this story kind of uh, more attractive for everyone to cover is the potential links Cambridge Analytica had with the Trump campaign. Uh, but a, a campaign using social media data, uh, a campaign trying to maximize the data that's available, is that anything that's actually to be ashamed of? And isn't it in fact something that the previous uh, Obama campaigns had done itself as well? Uh, yes. They have. Uh, Democrats and Republicans alike use data to do a more efficient job of targeting voters and communicating with voters on issues they care about. Look, there's a benefit to voters when this data is used as long as it's used properly. And good data standards and practices suggest that you have very uh, clear systems in place to protect people's identity and to not share it with third parties. And that seems to be uh, where the breakdown was that uh, a individual mined this data off of Facebook and then improperly shared it with Cambridge Analytica. And Cambridge Analytica uh, certainly uh, doesn't appear to have protocols in place that are very responsible. Uh, and so I. You know, the one thing that's interesting about this is, you know, for all the improper use of data, perhaps, I don't know that this firm was particularly effective. Uh, certainly in Republican circles at the time of the election, they were not widely received to be doing a, a great job. Uh, there was frustration inside the Trump campaign with Cambridge Analytica. So I think that's being lost in this discussion, that even though they did something improper and it needs to be investigated, uh, yeah. I don't know that it was actually being used in the campaign. That's a, a point. And Harvey, the third party researcher involved in all this, said he's being a, made a scapegoat by everybody involved, that he did nothing wrong. And Facebook's own policies about the use of this data have changed to since disallow something that then was allowed. So it, what were you going to say? 
The problem here is um, basically um, they were alerted, according to news reports, Facebook was uh, two years ago. They already had a consent decree uh, on the books against them. And somehow their initial approach when they learned about this, according to news reports, is they did nothing and uh, instead attempted to deflect the problem. They had an obligation to protect uh, their users' uh, confidential information consistent with their uh, previous order. By not doing anything, they really made this a serious problem for themselves. Um, Sarah, just to round things off, realistically, when could uh, any law or regulation be passed to, to really change the playing field for these social media names? Is it likely to happen and by when? Well, it's a great point. Uh, because of how inefficient our uh, Congress works today, you know, that's maybe the best thing Facebook has going for it, is that you're unlikely to see fast action. But uh, the one thing that we know from having watched these data stories over the last couple of years, and they're building, and they've been building on Facebook for, uh, for quite some time and intensifying, is that it's going to happen. I would suspect it would happen uh, maybe next year after the midterm elections before you see any punitive action. But if more revelations come out and Congress feels like they have to do something, it could, you know, you can see things happen more quickly. I don't yeah. know that this is enough, but I suspect uh, something's coming to Facebook, uh, certainly in the next couple of years, that they're not going to like. Well, the shares making a comeback of sorts today, trying to turn into positive territory. Snap and Twitter, Snap's up 3%, Twitter up 5%. Uh, Sarah Fagan, Harvey Pitt, thank you both. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.